thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update please subscribe to my channel please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments first of all thank you for all the support that you give me on this channel i really do appreciate you for that thank you so much y'all don't forget at 7 p.m i'm gonna have another video please don't miss that video uh we're going to be starting the next thousand dollar giveaway on that video also i've got something very special on that video that i really want to share with you thank you so much okay let's start with student loan forgiveness and y'all this video gets crazy i'm gonna warn you right now this video gets crazy student loan forgiveness we know president biden wants to forgive ten thousand dollars or so he says of all student loans warren wants him to forgive fifty thousand dollars of all student loans now president biden campaigned on this all throughout his campaign and y'all know my stands on forgiving the student loan so i won't bore you with that anymore but let's get into this joe biden ask education secretary if he could in fact forgive these loans four months ago the education secretary has not got back with him yet but the education secretary has been on vacation several times and other things but he's too busy to get back in touch with the president of the united states y'all i find that hard to believe because even if i could not stand joe biden and that's not the case but even if i could not stand him he is still the president of the united states and he deserves that respect to him and to the office of the president so yes that would be my number one priority to get back in touch with him on that so i just find that it's kind of hard to believe it. and if it is true the education secretary needs to lose his job for disgracing the president and the office of the president Chuck Schumer said that President Biden could do this with a presidential order with just a flick of his pen. Nancy Pelosi says that President Biden does not have the power to do this and he can't do it. He has said that he don't know if he can do it or not. Well, let's just say he could go ahead and do it make a presidential order forgive these loans and see if it sticks now if it sticks everybody's happy he's happy the people that has these loans are happy and that's a good thing if it don't stick at least he can say he tried everything he could then that campaign promise is not a lie it's a promise that he could not fulfill but as it looks right now, it looks like a lie. Now, Nancy Pelosi, throughout Joe Biden's campaign, when Joe Biden was campaigning on this loan forgiveness, Nancy Pelosi kept saying, if you vote for President Biden, I will make sure this gets through. She pushed on it as hard as he did. So... How does that make Nancy Pelosi look now? Then she said yes, now she says no. Y'all, Joe Biden is the President of the United States. Like it or not, he's the one that the people voted into office. And I can't ever remember the President of the United States having to ask permission to do something. He's the one that the people voted for. Y'all, that's enough of the student loan. President Joe Biden can't answer simple questions. I've told you about it before, but I seen the video where he was in a little cafe trying to answer a simple, very simple question of this server. He reached in his breast pocket. No, that's the wrong answer. 
He reached in this breast pocket and got a card. He tried to read the answer to her, and he couldn't read it. That shows that that whole scenario of her asking the question and him trying to answer it was scripted. That was a planted question and answer that he could not even answer, and it was scripted. Or, if he can't answer a question, he will say something like, they won't let me answer any more questions. I have to go. Why? Will Nasty Nancy spank him when he get back to the White House if he answers one more question? Who's running this country anyway? It sure as hell is not Joe Biden right now. Y'all let me know in the, con in the comments. Who do you think running the country right now? Y'all, I, I watched this video just yesterday. It's a video of things that came straight out of Joe Biden's mouth. And it was caught on videotape. Let's get into this. This is where it gets crazy. In 2008, he told a reporter he was visiting a coal mine. He told a reporter on camera that in his early days, he was a coal miner. He was a hard coal miner. He was one of the first in the, in the mine to break up the hard coal. There is no evidence that shows that this is true. In 2020, he said he had the great honor of being arrested in South Africa trying to free Nelson Mandela. There is no evidence to prove this is true. In 2017, he said he beat Notorious Corn Pop's ass with a piece of six foot chain, wrapped it around his neck. He's a tough guy, ain't he? There's no evidence to prove that this is true. And just the other day, President Joe Biden visited a Mack truck company in Pennsylvania. Joe Biden said he used to drive an 18-wheeler and he can double clutch with the best of them. Again, no evidence anywhere to prove any of this is true. So y'all, the reason I'm telling you this is if Joe Biden don't know what he's done in his past, if he makes up all these stories about his past because he can't remember his past, how can he direct the future of this country? Think about it. Camilla Harris, her poll numbers is dropping like dead flies. And her fellow Democrats fear that she will destroy the Democrat Party. Camilla's own uh, staff cannot stand working with her. She's hard to work with and too demanding. They do not like working with her a bit. Her approval rating is down to 44%. Camilla Harris was put in charge of the Mexican-Texas border wall. When she was asked, this was before she actually went down there, but of course she didn't actually go down there. She went for a photo op. She never went to the place where the actions is. So. So no, she never really went down there. A reporter asked her, are you going to the border? She smiled and she says, I've been to the border. She said, I've been down there. He says, no, you have not been down there. She said, well, I ain't been to uh, Europe either. What in the hell does Europe have to do with the border wall? But she did finally make a trip down there, but of course it was for a photo op. She did not see 
the action area firsthand. Say what you want to about her. I know what I think about her. Y'all, please don't forget to watch the video tonight at 7 p.m. I've got something very special down there I want to share with y'all. And the new contest is, will be starting down there also. It's at 7 p.m. on this channel. Please don't miss it. Y'all, sound off in my comments. Tell me what you think. Be hard on your lawmakers. Be hard on me if you want to. I can take it. Just know I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all this stuff. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Whether you like them or not, President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is in my prayers. Say a prayer for everyone around the world hurting through COVID, hurting through financial hardships, or any other affliction. And just know, I love you all. Please don't miss that video at 7 p.m. tonight. I love you all. Ciao.